What is going on guys? This is Laserbolt and welcome to another First Ascended character breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ultimate Lepec. And for those of you who are familiar, have been following the series or have played the game, you know Lepec is definitely one of the main characters in the game. So for this particular breakdown, I decided to do more of a Ultimate Lepec versus Lepec so you guys can get an idea if you should probably invest your resources or wanting to unlock the Ultimate Lepec because theoretically they almost have the same skills a couple changes that we will discuss later in the video so if this sounds like something you're definitely interested in like would be really appreciated let's try to get this video to 100 likes but without further ado let's go ahead and talk about the ultimate lapec as you guys may know by now there are four active skills that each first descendant is going to have one passive skill and we're going to get started with the main difference between ultimate lapec and of course the main lapec so the first thing we're going to be taking a look at guys is the uh, kind of overall what their defense, max health, max MP, shield recovery, max shield. What exactly is the difference out of all these characters? Basically, all the stats are similar in the same order. The only biggest difference from the ultimate Lepec, which you're seeing on the left-hand side, and the one on the right-hand side is the amount of maximum MP you have. What this means is you'll be able to use your abilities more often than you would if you were just using the regular Lepec. So... If you want to spam the skills more for Lepec, then the ultimate Lepec is definitely viable. But let's see what skills are going to be mostly spammable and what benefits we will have. So now that we said, let's take a look at his passive skill. Let's see the difference between the ultimate Lepec and the main, uh, you know, the, the standard Lepec. So on the left hand side, we have ultimate Lepec. And as you guys see right here, there isn't any difference at all. You're going to be getting the same same thing when it comes to the passive skill, which is the nine lives, allowing you to become immune for five seconds and allowing you to have mass control. Uh, so whenever you almost are about to die, you get your health back for 50 percent. So over there in general, we really don't have much of a difference. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the active skills. We're going to get started with the grenade. So the ultimate lapec is always going to be on the left hand side. And then we're going to pull up the uh, you know the default lapec. So as you guys hear, guys, the cost is 55, 13 second cooldown. Uh, the throw grenade is going to inflict skill attack of 130% explosive damage uh, to the enemies is with an 8 meter radius. If we put up the standard Lepec, same cost, same cooldown, and same amount of attack damage and same radius. So here on the grenade, we really don't get any difference with the ultimate Lepec. It's pretty much the same. So we're not getting anything beneficial per se for the grenade skill all right so now to the second skill called power stream now for power stream we have enter power stream mode increased skill attack by 60 percent for 38 seconds attacks with the grenade and arm launcher in power stream mode add burn effect to enemies burn effect inflicts skill attack of 15 percent constant damage over one second for 12 seconds now we put up the standard one this is where we see a bit of a difference because this time around we are getting a 40 percent increment of the skill here if we use the ultimate lapec in addition to that this uh, particular skill lasts a little bit longer a total of 18 seconds more than the regular lapec as far as the burn effect it's only one second that gets incremented but just the fact that you're able to do a 40 percent increment on skill attack and you're able to have this for 18 more seconds, I think this is definitely a very viable reason to decide to go with the ultimate Lepec route and unlock them if you really like Lepec. But let's keep going further to see if it's definitely worth more focusing on the ultimate Lepec than just regular Lepec. All right, so the next thing we have is the Traction Grenade. Cost is 54, cooldown is 21. Throwing a Traction Grenade forward pulls the enemies within an 11 meter radius for five seconds. Now let's pull this one up. Here we go. Cost is 54. So same amount of time. The only thing is that the cooldown for the traction grenade is getting reduced by four seconds with the ultimate pack. So meaning you could throw the grenade a little bit faster than you throw it, the, you know, you throw it with regular pack. And the radius is also increased. So with the standard Lepec, you have a 9 radius for 2 seconds. With the ultimate Lepec, you're getting a 2 meter radius increase, so 11. And you're also getting a 3 second uh, addition to the uh, the amount of radius that's actually being pulled in. Which is really good because that means the enemy is going to be kind of suspended in the air for a longer period of time. Now into everybody's favorite part of Lepec, which is the arm. So cost is 40, cooldown is 75 here. Switching weapons to an arm launcher, which consumes 7 MP every 1 second and returns to original weapon when the MP runs out. Upon attacking, arm launcher fires a powerful shell inflicting skill attack of 115% damage to enemies within a 5 meter radius. 
The, che- the shells will cause flame that inflicts constant damage and skill attack of 33.24% for every one second for four seconds to the enemy with a four meter radius. So now let's see if it's actually worth us getting this. So the cost, same. The cooldown, though, we get a five second cooldown reduction with the arm. So that means you're going to be able to use the arm faster, but it's not that huge of a difference. I wish I would have seen it a little bit more of a difference. What I do like here, though, is the fact that it costs less MP with the ultimate lapek than with the standard lapek. That means that we're going to be able to use our arm more with the weapon due to that consumption of MP lasting us longer than we would with the regular, uh, you know, with the regular lapek. And remember, with the ultimate lapek, our max XP is getting increased as well. Now, the skill attack is about the same. The radius is about the same. The attack is about the same. Everything stays the same. The only difference is the MP consumption. All right, so now that you guys know the abilities, let's talk about the way you're able to combo these and they work together. You actually have two different combo types that you're able to use here. I'm going to explain the one I feel is best, and I'm going to give you guys an alternative. So what you want to do, guys, is you always want to start and initiate a fight with the power stream. Basically, the power stream... It's going to allow you to get that 20% for 20 seconds of skill attack. So it's going to boost everything on top of that. Okay. So in addition to that, it's also going to allow us to inflict burn, which will give us even more skill attack and more damage. Now, after we do that, what we're going to want to do is then apply the next grenade, which will be the traction grenade. That's pretty much going to pull everybody towards us while we still have this buff. Now, theoretically, you could pretty much throw this one first, pull everyone towards you, and then apply the grenade that gives you the buff but i feel like applying the, the buff is a little bit better because you already have the buff you don't lose it after you guys have the buff and pull the enemy towards you guys this is when you want to lob your grenade because your grenade is going to go ahead and inflict a skill attack of 130 percent in addition to that since you guys have the first grenade you threw you're going to get a 20 percent bonus on top of that now after that you're then going to want to make sure you guys use your arm to inflict a massive amount of damage to all those enemies that are pulled into the center so they can receive the most amount of damage because you will be inflicting 115 skill attack plus 130 from the grenade you threw and on top of that that's going to all get incremented by 20 percent while you're applying burn to the enemy now you could be really aggressive with this because remember your passive skill is going to give you that extra breath and extra life so you could actually get close to the enemy throw those grenades to use your launcher or you could actually fire these from a distance now what type of weapons do i actually recommend for him for him i recommend the lmg which is a really good weapon for mid-range uh short range it's a really viable weapon in addition to that i would recommend the pistol as well as another option this is going to be a fast shooting weapon that's going to be help him engage for those color combats kill enemies really kick that they're fully damaged with their grenades and last but not least i would probably recommend a rocket launcher here because i feel like a rocket launcher plays very well with his playstyle, allowing you to do really good amount of damage from far distance and causing that extra explosive damage while that burn is active or while that 20% buff is also active on attack damage as well. So if you enjoy causing a large amount of explosions, like to make sure that when you do this explosion, you're also getting benefits of increasing the damage you're outputting, like to be up close and personal while dishing out a lot of damage as well, and still being able to tank and have a good survivability, then Lepec is definitely a character you need to consider. Now, I feel like the Peck is going to be a character that a lot of people are going to want in their team or want to have a buddy that plays him due to the fact that he's such a really good character that's able to do a really good amount of damage, whether it be up close or from a distance, just because he has a ton of throwables to throw and dish out to the enemies or the bosses. Now, speaking of playing with a team, don't forget to check our Discord server. The link is down below if you're looking for like-minded individuals like yourself to play the First Descendant with. I hope you guys are enjoying our First Descendant coverage. If you guys haven't checked out this video that's popping up right on the screen, highly recommend you guys check it out super informative super helpful and it's also going to give you guys a better idea of what other type of characters might fit your play style or what other type of content you would enjoy from the first descendant now remember if you do plan on picking the game and want to do the hard end content you definitely want to might want to consider becoming part of the bold nation by hitting the join button down below we will be streaming and we will be helping you guys complete hard earned content and help you guys farm so if you want to be first in line do consider becoming part of the bold nation now i hope you guys are enjoying our content here in the channel you are doing the key trade you guys drop a comment drop a like but most importantly subscribe to the channel turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys on the next video